two, one. episode of Drink and Drive where we talk about beers and cars. My name is Andrew, this is Brian. Let's get right to it. This week we have with us a stone red IPA, Patascala, I think is how you say it. That's the way it looks. That's how it looks. Uh, stone is a brewery out in um, somewhere along the west coast. I Orange believe. County. Is it Orange County? Orange County, California. Okay. Um, did a little bit of research about this particular uh, this particular beer, uh, they started brewing this in 2015. It was supposed to help with the education, uh, the music and arts education in Ohio, uh, which I believe has something to do with one of the founders. Uh, he's got some close ties to that particular area. Um, uh, they said that it was rather popular, so they kept it on and then started bottling it and started canning it. Now they mass produce it and it's sold everywhere along with their Stone IPA. And what's the other one that they had? Oh, they have a lot. Um a huge fan of Stone, Stone's IPA, Stone's uh, Ruination IPA, it was awesome. Um, their Arrogant Master that they make is amazing. Um, yeah, Stone's just all around is just an awesome, awesome brewery. Um, they've been putting out some good beers. They were one of the first IPAs I ever got into. Nice. So, um, so yeah, we're going to try this one. I've never had this one before. It's new to the area, so... Uh, yeah, so cheers. Cheers to the world. We're talking about luxury sport coupes. Luxury. This is like take like four, man. I'm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's dripping into me a little. Sorry. So today we're talking about luxury sport coupes. Uh, we started with the Infiniti Q60. That's what. He drives. Drive one. So, so we're gonna start with that, and uh, we're basically picking everything that's in that same class. So we've got the Infiniti Q60, the Audi A5. We've got the Mercedes uh, C-Class Coupe. We've got the Lexus RC and the Cadillac ATS Coupe. Did you mention the BMW? Oh, the BMW 4 Series. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, almost forgot. One of my favorite brands. That's why I'm here. For so. Basically, we decided that we would talk primarily about the top of the line because nobody really cares about your entry, base, price. If you're buying yes. base, you don't give a shit about the car. How's that? You just don't care. So if you're not buying S5, M4, Red Sport, AMG, go fuck yourself. How's that? All right, that's fine. Okay, good. So we're comparing... Who's up, who's up there the best? We're talking about four different categories. We got interior, exterior, performance, and price. And when we're talking about price, we're talking about bang for your buck. Horsepower per dollar. Per dollar, yeah. Good call. Yep. Dollar per horsepower. However you want to look at it, it's all the same. It doesn't matter. So let's talk about the best, right? So let's start interior. What do you got? Um, Howdy or... Mercedes. I think the Germans got this one mocked up. Yeah, I think so too. Um, Infinity's not bad, but I, uh, it's just nothing about it just is that attractive. Even Lexus, I think, just kind of it, it hits a boring stride. Uh, really, well, the really technology's cool. there. Like with with Infinity and and Lexus, I feel like the technology is is there. You get everything. But you're everything is on, yeah. You know what I mean. Sure. But with Mercedes and Audi, I feel like you get a lot of it, a lot of it, it's a little bit more luxury, refinement. You get that. You, you feel like yes, you're well, in a car that you just spent as much money as you did on. When you sit down, instead of in a in a, in a video game. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I agree with you. I think when you sit down in in, in an Audi or Mercedes, you're you're going to be sitting down in, in plush leather seats right. that hug you. Uh, you're gonna be grabbing, gripping a steering wheel that's that's sporty yet yeah, luxury. Yeah. Um, the technology is gonna be there in yeah. every single car that you get because you're talking you're you're talking about a, a seventy it's sixty It's twenty seventeen and you're paying yeah. premium price for. Which, by for, the way, why don't all cars have Apple CarPlay? 
I mean, you want to talk about what really grinds my gears. Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to jump off track. So, all right, so interior, we got best interior, Audi, or potentially Mercedes. Right Mercedes, there. the only thing I can't stand is, and Audi almost falls victim to it too, is, because they both is having basically an iPad super glued to the dashboard. It, it's just it's just a little annoying. Um, but the Mercedes it protrudes a little bit more than the Audi. Yeah, I, I, I but agree. It, it looks kind of funky. It looks misplaced. Yeah. It just doesn't blend into the rest of it. Whereas right. everybody else kind of just builds it into the right. into the interior. So, all right, moving on. So uh, let's go. Let's uh, let's First. shift to no no no. We'll go. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Worst interior. The worst no, interior. all right, all right. I was gonna save worst category for later, but so we'll worst? jump right into it now. Worst, worst interior. Worst. Freaking Cadillac, man. Yeah, the, you know, the Caddy's, you know, they're nice and everything on the inside. It's just it's we kind both, of boring. We both agreed about this. Not only yeah. is it a little bit boring, it's cool that you have Recaro seats. That's yeah. awesome. But I guarantee you that everybody else has the same shit going on. The what? ATSV, it's a little race car ish. Too. Right. It's too bare bones. Yeah. Compared to the rest of them, it gets a little bit too bare bones when we're talking about luxury sport groups, right? So. Yeah, bare bones. You got everything. This is it. it just, one's, it's, yeah. it's just it's just a shell. So anyway, so worst interior is Cadillac. Our opinion, we both agree. Moving on. Best performance. So let's talk about performance. We got best Mercedes. Yeah, five hundred horsepower. It's tough to beat. It is the most expensive one of the bunch, but I mean, it is a luxury sports coupe, and Come on. it's on the list. And Bi turbo V8, 500 horse, zero to 60 in like three seconds. It's fast. Yeah, it's it's, it's the best, right? Uh, worst performer? It's gotta be Infinity, right? Yep. Your your brand. Um, it just didn't with the the red. 400, 400 just, horsepower just doesn't come to play <clears throat> at this point, basically. It's, it doesn't match up with the M4. It doesn't match up with the S. Or actually, no. Let me backtrack. The S5 is actually only 354 horsepower. But it doesn't have the quarter mile or zero 60 time. Right. It just doesn't perform there. So we're talking about performance, not horsepower rating. Therefore, this doesn't work. So. That sucks. Anyway. Best, uh, best exterior. Sexiest car. It's gotta be the Lexus. Yeah, they added this little hood scoop in the front, the ground effects, the arrow. It's beautiful. You don't say ground effects anymore. I say ground effects, because what are you supposed to call it? It's not a lift kit. No, it's called arrow. Oh, we're calling it a. Fuck me then, you know? What the fuck? Are you fucking. Back in high school? Yeah, I'm back in 2003. What the fuck? So the arrow is badass looking. The exhaust, amazing looking. It's just, the ground effects are sick. It's a good looking car. All right. Ground effects. Anyway, <laughs> worst looking exterior goes to... Caddy! Caddy like fucking sucks, man. Caddy, you... You got no lines, you got, well, there's too, too many well-defined lines. You got too many straight edges. You know how they, it's just like, too jagged. Like, I feel like, it's like you run your hand across, so you're going to just cut yourself. Yeah, I'm going to slip my wrist. Put some fire. nice curves, you know, on her a little bit. It just looks too racy. Even, I don't even, care if it works. Wait, it doesn't matter. Even it doesn't when, matter if it works. Even when you look at like Lexus or any of the other ones, even when they do get too angular, the angles are still, like, they just, they just work well. It just is shaped well. It they're just not, looks like you took a bunch of squares well. and angles and triangles and just kind of put them all together. It was like, you, yeah, look, you look like a, a geometric, what, who's the I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut on you this much because you're no, functional. No, you know, no, you no. do great when you go to the track. You just, you're ugly. You're ugly. All right, let's go with the um, ugly bitch. That's, that's Price. All right. So here's the, here's the thing that we did with price. We took the the total base price for the top of line models and divided that by the horsepower to get a dollar per horsepower rating. Now, using that method, the best price, the best bang for your buck, goes to 
Infinity. That's right, Infinity. Uh, yeah. yeah, because 400 horsepower and $51,000 for all that man muscle. Uh, like I said, this is base too. I mean, when you throw options and all that, it doesn't matter. All that shit is going to add up. Yeah, but it's still $13,000 yeah. cheaper than no. one of the other. You're right. Anyway, so Infinity takes takes the reins on that one because they're just they're just they're there. Uh, worst dollar per horsepower goes to BMW. So BMW. So all right, let me backtrack. Uh, Infinity was at one twenty eight dollars per horsepower. BMW was I think at like one sixty. Yeah. Considerably higher. Yeah. Uh, it, than the rest. Um, the prices are too high for the power that you're making. I mean, your your M3 you can get same power, cheaper. It's just uh, even even if you throw in the Mercedes into that equation, yeah, which is usually seventy five thousand dollar car, which is usually a more. But car. They're creating more power, so you're getting that yeah. bigger bang for your buck. Not to mention, we've already discussed that the Mercedes was the best performer. Yeah. Twelve second flat quarter mile, uh, what, roughly three seconds zero to sixty. It just performs way better than the rest of them. And even though it's got the highest sticker price, you're just you're getting a better package. Yeah, the M4 is a little bit pricey for the amount of performance that you get. Um, so overall. What are you picking? Lexus. RCF? Yeah. I know, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, it makes some sense based on what we just talked no, about. No, I mean... But I just... I, I, I like driving something that is that is aesthetic. I think the interior is enough. Yeah. Uh, it, it may not win the category, but I think that that's still... You definitely get interior. the best performance, the technology, the styling, everything like that. Yeah, you get all that. There. You get a naturally aspirated for, for the RCF. Yeah. yeah, I think I think that that's my pick. How about you? I'm going with the Merc. Again. Yeah. Again. I, know. I don't know why I bought a BMW. You're a whore. Um, no, the Mercedes just there's something about it. It just you know, Mercedes the brand itself, they've just done so much with their styling, they uh, their interior, their performance. I mean their AMG cars are just ridiculous. Um, you know, just the sounds that it makes the the, the the numbers that it puts down, and I don't care if it's seventy five grand. It's 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 still my pick. It's a solid. Um, you know, even if you don't go with the S, even if you just go with the regular S sixty three, you know, you're still sixty five grand. It, it's still a really really good price for the amount of performance, styling, and uh, luxury that you get. Yeah, I mean, base. If you really wanted to, to get down to it, I mean, on our on our list here, we have interior Mercedes is up there. Uh, performance Mercedes took that category in our opinion, and then exterior. I mean, Lexus is our is what we wrote down, but Mercedes was right there. So really, I, I don't blame you. I just disagree with you, flat out. So basically, what we didn't really touch on too much was was the M4. I, I really feel that the M4. It didn't get um, much, that much love. The BMW has not really impressed me lately anyway. Um, as far as your price, your performance, your styling, it, it kind of seems like you're a little bit... Boring. Yeah. Um, Audi, Stay. you guys have you guys have always been really, really like kind of basic. Um, not really up there in price range with the Audis. I mean, with the uh, Mercedes or the BMWs. Um, I've had a lot of Audis before. Um, the S5 is, is, a, is a very good looking car. Um, as far as with all the other, other ones, you're just not competing. You're just not fixing yourself up. Caddy, you guys suck. I mean, your performance is there, but your your styling is, is not that great. You're focused too much on the track, not too much on everyday driving, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, and I feel like Cadillac just kind of stepped into the picture, and they really just wanted to, to strut their numbers. strut their stuff. Yeah, they're, they're all about stuff. trying to put numbers. In. And that's great uh, to even touch on Audi and BMW. They're both great looking cars. They just kind of fall in the middle of the pack with a lot of this stuff, and they're both as exciting as they could be. I feel like compared to the rest, you know, compared to the Lexus and Mercedes, they're kind of just boring, bland. Infinity. 
in my opinion, that has was, really that was what your that was your big letdown. Today, yeah, they really charged it up with with the red sport and 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 changing up the exterior and all that kind of stuff. But then, really, once I actually got into diving into the the look of everything else and what the other options were, and realized that that's kind of a shitty idea. So, because there's there's a lot of guys that do the the G35s, the G37s. Yeah, they, they, they build do them up, up because I feel like it's again, I think it's a good entry level coupe yeah. in luxury in luxury yeah, terms. Yeah, sports coupe, yeah, definitely. And there's some tunability to it because it's you know it's sisterhood with the uh, the 370Z and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just they, they just kind of fell short a little bit with with everything else, you know. Yeah. Besides, it's, it's, it's besides that there. you're getting a lot of horsepower for not that much money, I mean that's 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 really all I saw from him. <sighs> they stepped it up. Well, well, seriously, think about it this way: they they take the you take the G thirty seven, which is which was what a fifty thousand mm -hmm. was a fifty thousand dollar car off a lot of itself, right? The G thirty G thirty seven and the Q sixty S, however you want to look at it, three point seven liter V six. Um, uh, roughly 280, 300 horsepower, a lot of power, great coupe, all-wheel drive, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then they, they beefed it up and they brought out this, and within the same price point, brought out a V6 twin turbo, 400 horsepower behemoth that still matches up with everything else you know that it was before. They've made a lot of changes and they made a lot of steps in the right direction. It just didn't quite match up with the rest of the competition. As big of a step as it was, it just was kind of just a. I kind of feel like Infinity's styling between the G35, the G37, and the Q60 has kind of gone down a little bit. I, you know, I, I don't feel like they're doing enough as far as keeping the aggressive strides they were doing and keeping the body, you know, uh, sporty enough. I, I feel like it's too much. Yeah. I mean, I can I'm just agree. rambling here, but... No, um, I can agree with that. So let, let, let us know what you guys think. Honestly. Yeah, curious to know. Let us know what you guys think as far as everything we've talked about, Ooh. whether or not you think BMW is better, whether or not you think Mercedes should win everything, whether or not you think that Lexus is ugly as hell. Stop, stop, stop. I, they get it. They understand. Cadillac sucks, though. We can all agree there. I know that. If you think Cadillac's awesome, please don't come. <laughs> and tune in next week. We'll talk about something else, some other beers and uh, some, some other, other cars beers and stuff. some other cars. It's, yes, something different. Stay tuned. See you. That was, that was nice. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought you went here. I was like, whoa. See ya. See you later. See ya fucking later.